Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius for the month of July. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Okay, I'm going to the heart of the reading here. Um, okay, so we have um, we have the milk uh, along with the uh, with the cauldron. So um, the milk is a, a situation, a disappointment um, stuck in the past on a person or a situation. It is regret and longing to be able uh, to go back and fix that or to get back what one has lost. And that is also the message at the bottom of the deck. Um, it's a card, uh, it's called Humanity. And so it's about reckoning, uh, reckoning with failure, you know, making up, wanting to make up for a mistake or a failure. Um, wanting to regain uh, possession of something, to clear something up. And so uh, the, the cauldron is uh, saying that this situation that happened in the past is, is what you are trying to transform or what you would like to transform. Um, do you have all of the ingredients to be able to do this? Um, it can also speak to wisdom that was learned from this experience. Um, or something that you need to, uh, to have learned or recognized. Mm-hmm. There's a decision uh, that is pending for the future. Someone is going back and forth on this decision um, after the tower has occurred. So after some um, shocking event, uh, revelation, something that made the tower crumble. The walls came down and so now what do we do? Do we rebuild this? Can we rebuild this? Or do we go our separate ways, basically, is what this is about. But clearly, the person I'm seeing here has a desire to fix it. What happened was the teacup and the house. So the house... Um, no, I'll go back to the teacup. The teacup is that um, a situation that's fragile. It's It speaks to something small that created something big. So something, uh, a small event um, that was perhaps exaggerated or blown out of proportion that caused the tower. Something that someone did um, here caused a lot of damage, a lot of sorrow. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, because of these cards here, I feel that someone was suspicious, uh, possibly that their, their partner had lost interest in them and perhaps even had interest in someone else. Um, competition. Um, which these feelings and possibly feelings of jealousy, of desperation, even here, um, fear, uh, it caused all of these arguments to erupt, and finally uh, ending with the with the tower. Somebody felt betrayed. They could have felt a series of disappointments. Um, so, 
it could have been an accumulation of many disappointments that brought this tower in. And um, so here we have the Four of Swords on the uh, on the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands can be um, somebody who has been wounded. Okay, so this would be our person in a Ten, uh, in this Ten of Swords here. So uh, somebody who has been wounded and who's facing a challenge, and the challenge is uh, is that. Um, trying to get this relationship back if this is that person, you know. So can we rebuild this tower or do we go our separate ways? But, you know, um, here somebody's in reflection on that question. I'm hurt. I'm wounded. I'm weary. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm unhappy with the current circumstances, but maybe, maybe I'm not ready to give up yet, despite it all. Maybe I want to give it one more try or one more chance. Yeah, see somebody, uh, and most likely this person, it could be that there is a threat here uh, because I see it also down here. So there could be um, that you feel like you're being threatened by all sides. So there could be or could have been or um, or this is just your perception that uh, or your belief that there's somebody else that is threatening this. Seven of Wands, surrounded by hostile elements, um, being on the defensive, uh, trying to uh, defend what little ground he's got left. And, you know, this could be in the aftermath of that tower. Because now, because of the tower, somebody's feeling out in the cold or has has been uh, feels like they the other has pushed them out so it's interesting though because this ten of swords um geez i have the high priestess and the sun okay there's clarity here that that is coming okay it's not as bad or something was not as bad as you thought it was okay uh, with that sun there and with the storm in the teacup ten of swords is uh looking this person feels it's over but it isn't because hope is here but this person must look back to the mistakes of the past because the answer or the way out of this is is there see they have that knowledge they have that wisdom they're just not aware of it so the elixir is about wanting to heal wanting to offer your cup uh, to this person, um, wanting to, um, this could be taking a stand, and this could be uh, with regards to this too, and, and this uh, this is the circumstances right now, feeling left out in the cold. Um, it's, it's taking a stand to make positive changes, you know. At this point here, the towers hit, uh, you can't run from it anymore. You can't ignore it. You can't let things slide. You need to um, basically rescue yourself here. And to do that, to do that, um, you need to speak up. <clears throat> you need to speak the truth. Uh, have a voice. Or this is somebody 
who's going to give you a truth and you don't see it coming. There's something that's hidden from you um, that you... Oh, wait, I put the card in the wrong place. There's something you don't, um, <clears throat> you don't see coming. It's a very important message on this card because we have it here in two more cards. Or there's something you're not seeing. This book is closed. There's something you, you, you're, and, and I feel like it's a dual message. I feel like indeed there's something you are not seeing, okay, because you felt that your partner was hiding something from you. Um, and I don't think it's what you thought it was. There is recognition that maybe you blew something out of proportion but still uh, the reason it happened there's a deeper issue and so you need to get to the root of that you're looking at the details someone well you or them looking at the details uh, where you want to be you want to repair um, this uh, commitment you want to uh, reconcile with this person and there is recognition here in the future of the damage done. Recognition of um, maybe blowing something up or um, uh, speaking or taking an action without thinking. And so what you can't see coming is a conversation um, I feel you're not with this person right now but there is a conversation this will happen um, over uh, the internet it is a, a social uh, place okay I, I, I mean you know there it, it might not be the internet but this speaks mostly to internet or text texting um, it could be a place where people gather, but I feel it's going to be the uh, over over the internet. Um, there is some truth that's going to be spoken, and there is going to be uh, a new offer, a window of opportunity to be able to rebuild this tower. There is recognition of someone's behavior that caused the damage. And that's important because this card that precedes it, the Six of Wands, is about getting to the root. Getting to the root of somebody's behavior. So that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Many blessings.